up, Tappy? What it do? <laughs> oh, this man here. So, hey. so a few weeks ago, uh, Big M was not here. Not the little one. <laughs> Put some respect on her. Now she the little one today because she was not here. She, not here. she wasn't there. She was not here. So we posted um, a video in reference to the zodiac signs yes. and astrology and everything else and what the Bible says about it. So I yes. came across this story. Like I just want to see you guys, you know, reaction uh, real quick. Uh, it's not gonna take long, so let's let's take a listen. Big Leo. Oh. A Los Angeles influencer who allegedly killed her boyfriend and daughter is at the center of a murder investigation, and police say the recent solar eclipse may have played a role in the tragedy. Now, what does, what does a solar picture? eclipse has to do with a murder? You couldn't even see the eclipse unless you had a glass. She probably thought <clears throat> God was coming that day. Jab. And so she killed it. She killed everybody. Because I think during during the solar eclipse, you know, the the word around it was that it was gonna be the end of the world. Yeah. Um, really? And yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people were panicking and said, "Get get your stuff ready." Um, but the Bible said, "You don't know the hour, or the, nor the day." The yeah. Right? Like a thief in the night. <laughs> All right. Danielle Johnson, who offered online self help and healing sessions under the name Danielle Aoka allegedly killed her partner in their Los Angeles home before pushing her two children out of a moving vehicle hours before the April 8th astrological event, the LAPD says in a press release. Law enforcement sources tell the Los Angeles Times that investigators believe the eclipse may have been a factor in their tragic deaths. In the early morning hours of April 8th, Danielle and her boyfriend, Jalen Allen Cheney, became involved in a physical altercation at their home in Woodland Hills, California, that ended with the mom of two fatally stabbing Jalen, according to LAPD. Please. Question. Do you guys believe that the solo eclipse had something to do with her stabbing no. her boyfriend? No, I believe it's something to do with a job, but... What is a job? That's just me. A job. What's a job? A job. What's a job? For those that weren't there in the, the first episode, like uh, Big M here, a job is a uh, demonic spirit, you know, the devil, you know, evil spirit. That's what it is, and just, but it's a Creole word, job. Okay. Yes. My thing is, it says that she pushed her babies off the highway. Correct. Before the solar eclipse. So how does the solar eclipse have anything to do with it? If she did it before the. She solar probably eclipse. didn't want them to experience the solar eclipse. Uh, she didn't want, she them, didn't want be, them to look at the she sun. She didn't want them to be there during the solar eclipse. She made because that of what she know would happen. She made that purpose. That's what she thought would happen. Oh, she know because she believed in it. Just because you believe now, it. What, was, it, was it a thought or a belief? Just because you believe it's it don't mean you know it is girl, true. What are you doing? All right, so let's keep I, watching. I let's keep There's watching. Please the tell the Times that evidence suggests the 34-year-old tried to drag her boyfriend's body out of the complex, leaving a trail of bloody footprints behind her. However, Danielle, who described herself as a Reiki master teacher as well as an R&B artist, then brought the body back into the family's kitchen where it was later found by a neighbor. Taking her two daughters, one nine years old and the other eight months old, Danielle then allegedly fled the scene in her Porsche, eventually throwing her older daughter, who was holding her baby sister in her arms, out of the car while driving more than 100 miles per hour, please. I mean, how do you do that? Like, Man, yo, I I have two kids, bro. I have two kids, like, and and I'm a father. I can mm -hmm. never, ever take the place of a mother, the way that a mother feel about their kids, right? For you to go as far as throwing your kids out of a moving vehicle at a hundred miles an hour. Like, think about the demon that has to be in your head. That's a job, dog. Oh, For you to think about, like, yo, I'm going to go on the highway. I'm going to drive 100 miles an hour. And I'm going to throw my kids out the window. Wait, she threw her kids out the window? Or kids out the car. I don't know if she threw it out the window. Or Whatever. Door, but she threw All it. I know, they were in the car and then they weren't. I don't know. It could be two sides of the story. How maybe she was trying to save them. Save them from what? You know, I, I'm, 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 I kind of see where you're going. You know, I don't. we don't we don't know the full don't know the perspective of where she's coming from, but at the same time, and you know when you like 
as a mother, maybe she wanted to push the kids and she felt like maybe something was going to happen. Going 100 miles per hour, you going to push them out thing, they going to survive? You don't know what was going on. You don't know what was going on in the car. We cannot tell. You don't know the story. Whatever you know, what went on, the, the action of pushing your child out of a 100 mile per hour moving vehicle Do, do you think is anything still justifies somebody? Well, yeah, I don't think. First of all, stabbing her boyfriend was... And then, already one and then thing. Was moving fighting. his body and, and bringing it back into the kid. Yes, they were fighting and she stabbed her boyfriend. So, Look, I'm not going to get into so, that. Yeah, her friend. So, Where are you going? I'm not going to get into that. Right? So, but so, let's say that's one thing, right? But throwing your kids at the window, you think mm-hmm. like that was for their safety? I said there's two sides. Could be maybe she did it, you know, out of pure evil. Maybe because we don't know. Okay. Pure what, evil. Would, okay. what would the other, what would the other option be? coming. Probably 100 miles per hour like you're, you're doing. You're going to throw your kid out the window. Especially how old is our baby? No, it's a nine. One I think. was nine years old and the other one was a toddler. I'm and you expect your child to live. My that. thing is that it's like there's not even like a size or whatever. Like, Do you know how much effort it'll take to be driving and then to push a nine-year-old out the car? You need That's to go and open the... the what? Uh, maybe, 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 maybe we'll, we'll no. get answers. Yes. Let's see. Can we say... While the infant sadly died, the nine-year-old survived the fall and was transported to the hospital for minor injuries. Less than an hour later, local Rodondo Beach police responded to reports that Danielle's speeding car had crashed into a tree and she was pronounced dead at the scene. Both Danielle and her boyfriend's causes of death are listed as deferred, according to LA County Coroner records viewed by E! News. Days prior to the tragic events unfolding, the astrology influencer spoke out about the impending eclipse on social media, something that investigators tell the Times may be connected to the alleged killings. Writing in a series of posts to her 100,000 followers on X last week, this eclipse is the epitome of spiritual warfare. Wake up, wake up, the apocalypse is here. Also, it's alleged that the eclipse had something to do with all that killing. It was going around. Right, okay. a lot of people was believing that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. How many followers this is she have? A couple. Like, a hundred thousand followers. So she gave this information, the, this belief that she had, she passed it on to a hundred thousand people. Even more. You, you understand that? <laughs> like this is, to me, this is a murder suicide. Right, the attachment to the solar eclipse is based on what she believes in, and she was big on astrology. Oh wow! Yeah, no. Well, she said um, this thing is attached to um, what was the thing she commented on? But she said she said something like, I, "I want us to like pay attention to what she said." Wake up, wake up! The apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears, listen. Your time to choose what you believe is now. She is right about that last one. Your, your time to choose what you believe is now. If you believe in the solar eclipse and the evil that is surrounding these astrologers and, and these, you know, like mythical, you know, uh, things that we have going on around the world, that's on you, right? But God says he's going to come like a thief in the night. So it's time for us to start believing in the God that is. Right? Because there's no way, man, a God would tell you, hey, kill yourself because everything is about to end. Like, what kind of God is that? So, my thing is that, is it like, let's say she did all this because she spoke out on it and whatever it is that she has spoke out on it was now retaliating and making her... do all this stuff? May- or maybe. maybe. She, I'm I just watch her first video before the 7th before she did it on the 8th like, I just want to understand like the whole like correlation of what astrology has to do with your mentality like how does that really affect you I don't know like I know like you know the sun coming up you know you just woke up you know you look at the sun like it may it may make you feel some type of like you close your eyes oh, it's bright or whatever or you may feel tired of some certain days but to get to the point where your whole decision was to Kill. you know allegedly maybe it has something to do with, your, with the killing of your children but you yeah. know to Push your children out of a hundred miles per hour moving vehicle, stab your boyfriend, all that stuff. And they kill yourself. Like, kill you, like, how does all of that equate to just the moon in front of the sun? I don't want to laugh, but wow. And the thing is, you wow. will never have any answers to what happened because she she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Like, if it's a thing where it's like, let's say, 
she looked into the sun and she went blind and then she went crazy. Like I, I just don't understand. I don't like, understand what, either, man. What's the correlation? What's going on? I mean, she's just like I said in the last video, you know, but I, y'all got some explanation. Put it in the comments for your boy. I mean, it, it has a lot to Confused. do with, with, you know, the ending time, like the last days. Yeah. And I really believe, I know we've been hearing that from years, like, you know, we're living in the last days, but we really are living in the last days. Truly, it, yeah. it could be a hundred years from now. It could be a thousand years from now. That's to, for God to decide. Mm-hmm. Right. But I, I wish people mm-hmm. will turn to the, the, the God of the universe you know, Jehovah Jireh, you know, instead of, you know, believing in all these things that's that's asking you to sacrifice, right, all that you are, right, everything about you, to sacrifice everything about you in order for you to be saved. When Jesus Christ died on the cross and he said he paid for all our sin and salvation is free of charge, right, just believing in him is free of charge, right, and we walk in this world like I had a conversation with a friend and this come up. We have insurance for everything. Life insurance, teeth insurance, <laughs> eye insurance. Beyonce insured her booty. You know, <laughs> there's insurance for everything, right? But look, with all these insurance, how do we insure our souls? How do you insure your soul? Do you give it up to a solar eclipse? God that tells you you got to kill your whole family and yourself. How do you insure your soul? Well, my insurance is in Christ Jesus. And it's free. It's time we start believing in creation. It's free of charge. It's free of charge. There is something that she, um, she said prior to that wake up thing. I think she said this um, thing is a uh, um, a spiritual warfare. warfare yeah. Right? And then now I was thinking it just it reminded me of the verse that says we're not fighting against you know flesh, flesh and blood. blood. We are fighting you know. Because it's like yes, a lot of a lot of people do believe in those things. They do believe in you know those signs, and it's like you do not know what's behind the signs. And it just go back to it. Like I know all of us is like, oh my god, why did she do it? You don't know what type of spirit that was in her head. You don't know what type Whatever of spirit, spirit that she it was is. fighting. Ba- ba- Correct. And, and then it's just like you know, like because I remember um, when this so like if somebody was like, you know how. Our culture is like when this thing happened, you need to stay inside, don't go outside, because you know what? Yeah. Now it's like, did it, I'm like, it makes sense, because there is people that would do evil things. What if she would just wanted to sacrifice her family? Man, the only thing I know is the spirit world exists. We need to stop ignoring it, right? It exists, whether you believe it or not. It exists, right? And and you need to choose now. Who do you believe in? Right and and who what God are you going to serve, right? And if you're serving a God that's protecting you, if you're serving a God that's you know like holding you and keeping you, I, it's only one God that I know like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Every everything else is you gotta you know kill yourself in order to have a thousand wives, right? You have to kill yourself in order to inherit this, like. No, like the God I serve says, like he, he gave us life and he gave it to us abundantly, right? And, and he said we will live and not die. And even when we die, to die with Christ is to gain. Because I know at the end of the day, like I'm going to live forever in his kingdom. Indeed. Indeed. All right, let's finish this. Let's see. Everyone who has ears, listen. Your time to choose what you believe is now. The investigation is still ongoing. E! News has reached out to the Woodland Hills and Rodondo Beach Police, but has not yet received any comments on the case. She look good, too. I can't she lie. She do. She's beautiful. <laughs> she, she look was. good, boy. Well, yeah. She yes, she beautiful. was. Yes. She look good, I, boy. I hope that at some point, you know, um, you know, her family finds solace and, like, can, can for sure. Praying for the family for that's, sure. That's hard for the boyfriend's family. The nine year old. Her mother, the nine year old. And the, the nine year old that's going to live through this oh, and, and hearing God. this story over and over. Really thinking about question. She got another car going 100 miles per hour, but she only got minor injuries. Yeah. Like, what is going on? Not you doing detective work. Go ahead, then. Go ahead, How? Yes, like. God, I don't know. Oh, well, I guess. It's not your time. It's not your time. Really? I don't really and tell you. you got minor 
No, it but, goes back. What if she was not I mean, trying to kill them? I feel like go. I feel like it may be minor because you know she was holding somebody, so it had somebody to brace her fall. Or maybe yeah. she the, the the little one took all the impact. Yeah, the little one. Yeah, the, she has some. She, the little one took all the fall. They had a role. They had something. She was yes. Look, I'm not and gonna imagine how this little girl died. Nah, but that nine year old definitely okay. sending out right. prayers but over there. All I know is like like prayers up for this nine year old. And this girl family too, man. And I pray that you guys will find, you know, solace and, you know, the the tough time that's, you know, that's ahead. Peace, tranquility. And um, I pray that God will guide you guys, you know. Um, to everybody else that believe in the same thing that she believes in, I pray that you turn your life to Christ. Now. <laughs> because he is a savior. He is a redeemer. Uh, you really don't have to give anything up to follow him. Uh, pick up your cross, right? He's forgiven sins. What are you, you waiting find, for? Like just, just like oh, yes. Yeah. God, Jesus is the answer. Like I, I don't have anything Jesus else. Like is Jesus is the answer <laughs> for the world today. I really yeah. that, man. Jesus is the answer. Like that's everything awesome. that's going on around us, Jesus <laughs> is the. answer answer like Indeed. that's it man oh. find christ all right you'll find life indeed god bless y'all man uh for those who are involved in any domestic dispute or violence please call 911 uh do not take matters into your own hand uh and if you or or if you know someone that's suffering with mental disorder uh, or in crisis um, if you are thinking about suicide you're wondering about a friend or a loved one or would like to to have emotional support uh, please dial 988 that is the suicide and crisis lifeline yes, sir. you're not alone you right are. and reach out we all need help we all do. Um, so yeah. dial, dial these numbers whenever you have any of those uh, incidences occurring around you or to you. Thank you. Shalom. What to do, Tap In? It's your boy Breezy, and we're back here with another reaction video. Yes, sir. And today we're going to be looking to a video that has something to do with Kaka, a famous. <laughs> That's, I guess that's his nickname. Don't laugh. I don't know. I ain't real, calling that. Their real name is Kaka. Hey. Kaka. That's that's what we're gonna go for, alright? Alright. Let's not focus too much on the name though. Let's just go on the video, alright? So let's go tap to tap to tap tap in yeah. into the video. Yeah. Kaka's soon to be ex-wife and Brazilian model Celico made it public a few days ago, right here as you see that she posted. Are you laughing at this man's name? Do it when she said it! <laughs> the Kaka! Oh shit! <laughs> 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 I like how she said it. So Kaka, I'm like, it's a call. call. He's not a bird. Yo, that's a bird, bro. Alright, okay, okay. hey, run it back. You got the name dog is Kaka. Kaka. Go ahead. Got gotcha. you. Alright, bro. Like a parrot. That's this on her Instagram account. She posted this family picture and a lengthy Portuguese message saying, quote, one of the most difficult decisions of our lives is to choose if we want to walk together or apart. She goes on by saying, this time we are in a while overcoming the most painful process, which is separation. It was not an easy decision. Fans have also reacted to the news, mostly sad and disappointed. The couple is separating. One user writes, so Kaka and Carol are getting divorced after 10 years together. What the heck is happening with this year? Another fan posted this on Twitter, quote, why would one divorce the one and only Kaka? Kaka has been married with the Brazilian native former model for 10 years. They've been together for 13 years. During today's morning practice, the Lions were back out in the field getting ready to play against Toronto on Wednesday. Kaka wasn't on the field when the media was allowed, but we asked the coach if Kaka's divorce will affect the upcoming Eastern Conference game, and this is what he had to say. No, I'm not, I don't think it will affect the game. Uh, obviously, it, uh, I think it's been documented. He's, there's one or two things, that one or two issues, so no doubt they'll re resolve it in the appropriate time, and he's, he's experienced enough to, to, I think, to separate one from the other. We also tried to... I feel bad for celebrities, bro. Oh, Sam. Oh, yeah, no, I could have... You got to well, say like, you I, that. Look, oh. I, I'm sitting here listening to this, and in my mind, I'm like, yo, 13 years, 
10 year marriage coming to an end and all they worrying about is you plan is playing. it gonna be ready i'm gonna beat everybody up because i don't have time he, he'll go to coach you gotta no, he, 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 he know how to separate the marriage from the i'm gonna beat you up no it's the coach answering for, for real it, it does because right? he, 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 he didn't read it he's gonna be okay what it was gonna be a bunch of reporters i mean uh, that that is sad. but that's reality though here you go what happened yes reality. i was gonna say it's reality <laughs> What's the reality? Because the thing is, if if he was a normal person, he still had to go to he work. He is normal. That's his, I mean, I'm saying that ain't my reality. Celebrity, Bruh, he still like, had to go to work. A normal he still person, to it takes them time to get over 10 years of marriage. You still got bills. You still gonna go to work and do your 9 to 5. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, what makes it different for celebrities is because it's like, it's always an apparent news. Like, like what what I, what somebody who's not a celebrity can deal with in divorce? Oh, somebody, I got divorced. So now you just your family and friends might just bother you. But then now you like as a famous athlete, social media, in person, or maybe in your own home, like everywhere you go, there's gonna be somebody who's gonna mention it. Because whether they knew you or not. And and that's what like it's crazy, because that's like on a that's on a repeat. You could wake up just to go to the store. Hey, what about your divorce? What? I just came to the store. I mean, what are you talking about? So the reason why, like, I find this interesting, uh, a few, a couple of months back, a few months back, Mm -hmm. like, we were talking about divorce, right? And we had a marriage segment, we're talking about divorce and whatnot. And uh, we went into, like, why people get divorced, right? I was on Instagram. Allegedly, she's divorcing him. Because, because she's he's too because perfect. Because she said he's too perfect. Is that perfect. on the video? Can we watch it? He's too, too perfect. Too perfect. I, I don't think that's on, on this video. I want a husband that's so perfect that he's too perfect. Because, girl, what? That, do you do that reminds me of that, that judge episode when the girl was like, the voice broke because he cooked too good. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he cooked too good. Last, late night, she was hungry. And he call, pissed call up. me. Give me too <laughs> And it's not the first story that I've hear of, you know, people who are divorcing, um, you know, after years of marriage. Like, let me tell you this. And these social media pranks are getting too wild. Man, so man. I was watching one where a 40-year marriage, bro, you know, the when they exchange the phones, you know, they go, they stroll to their Oh, right? Lord. So this, yeah. A 40-year marriage. She, he, the husband came up on, the husband was like, yeah, yeah, she could go through my phone, like, but the lady was hesitant. hesitant. Uh, so I already knew something was up. Y'all females. And all right. as he was okay. scrolling through it, not too much. Right. <laughs> we, we don't need that. Right. <laughs> Look, a little controversy. We, we, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to just please. leave it there. So he came across a name and he asked her about it. And she was like so casual about it, you know, you know, you know what it is. Like, you know, I've known him for years or whatever. And boom. Ended a forty year marriage. Just like that. But like was She was it? cheating on him. She was cheating on him. was was Kaka wife cheating on Look, him? You, or no? you always wanna go south. Let's stick to what we know. Let me finish the video. Maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> no, because I'm just wanna I just wanna know. <laughs> To get a statement from Kaka, but the team spokesperson told us he was not taking any interviews. The couple has two kids and Selico asked for privacy and asked followers, fans and admirers to quote, not judge as the family copes with the new changes. Reporting here in the studio, Jackie Orozco, Fox 35 News. Instagram, she said, like you said, she said because the man was too perfect. I didn't want to describe what is too like, perfect. I, yeah, I don't like, know what dudes, you right, you're, you right. I don't know what dudes need to do nowadays, man. The man is a millionaire, Damn, man. right? And she's a model. Like, what does? They what do you kids. need? Yeah, female. So he's too boy. perfect. So like, like so if, she if he was mistreating her, it would have been perfect. better, like, right? I I she wants somebody to slap on her mouth. She's like, that's what she wants. Hey, better, <laughs> better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Better you than me. Maybe that's what she wants. She you can't lie. Like, like, a little toxic energy be a little, little entertaining. I want to see that. I want to see the post where she talk about how this man was too perfect. Cause now I'm thinking, it's like it's like, ladies, like we need to know what we want in a what's, man. What's her name? 
I don't know. Right, right. Sacone. Like, yeah. I want to know, what do she mean is too perfect? I ain't gonna lie, you know, when I was younger, I broke up with a boy because he was too nice to me. Maybe you that was too well, that's, <laughs> that's understandable, though. <laughs> but that was like, that's uh, like, like I'm we not married. Because you wanted a thug. Maybe that's too yeah, bad. That's crazy, <laughs> dog. You guys be throwing me, though. Too nice is crazy. Me. So that only tells you, man, like in a marriage, it's a constant work. It's a constant, you know, mm-hmm. like you, you have to okay. work on your marriage constantly because you never know what some, what the other person is thinking. You know, like you can never. They <laughs> probably bored him, but, for, but he rich. What's she bored for? Bored she, at what? But she, but she, but he's rich. So what's she got to be bored of? Like. Maybe that was it. Oh, the life was too perfect for her. Yeah. She wanted some Oh, the reality. life was too... She needed a struggle a little bit. Isn't that like yeah. a dream? To, to have a perfect life? But what if it was, like, boring? Like... You okay. have all the money. In, like Mark, Mark I'm not saying Bo. It could be good, but like I'm not saying Bo was like Mark Zuckerberg. But I know Bo getting bro, paid bro got money, for her to literally do anything that she probably dreamed of. Well, it looks like money don't buy happiness. And then even then, she has a good money gonna buy mine. I'll tell you that. I heard what it said. It buy happiness. It go buy. I'm gonna rent it out, little bit. The joy of the money is my strength. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. Right. So, so, we are not laughing at your pain. For real. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm messing with her, with the girl. <laughs> I'd be happy. I got money. It gonna make but me happy. Trust. May, maybe somebody that's watching this video could tell us, like, what does it take to mm. please a woman? Let like, us know in the comments, man. Let us even know, like, more details about yeah. the story. Like, what does it on? take to please a woman nowadays? I think I think women needs to what in the Bible, Ephesians five, and read what the Bible, what Paul said about a marriage, about husband and wife. I think that's what we need to do, because. When I'm thinking about it, I'm not, of course, I'm not going to judge her because I do not know her full story. Of I would. Story. Let me stop. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, it just made me question, like, us as a lady, what is it that we want in a husband? You know what I mean? What do that's you want? That's a good question. Yeah. You should, you should. What yeah, do you want? That's, that's Answer that right question. now. What do you want what in a husband? I don't know. Yeah. What do you mean I don't know? I do know exactly what I want in a husband. Which is? I do want a man that have a good relationship with God. Of course. So that way we can follow the order that in the Bible. What else? I think this know? segment was not about you. It was about Kaka you and, and so his I wanted to know. I wanted to know. <laughs> 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 wanted to know. Wanted to know. But anyways, <laughs> tap in. Let us know what you think about <laughs> this video. I like my man a little thuggish. Oh, no. <laughs> no, All no, right. No, with no, that being said, we are out. <laughs> tap in. <laughs> um, after looking into it a little bit more, that was eight years ago, you guys. They got divorced in 2015. <laughs> Damn. But he just broke his silence on the divorce. Mm-hmm. So let's hear what he has to say. Man, never trust social media. <laughs> yeah. At all. For real. Yeah. It is something current. Like. Or your tech team for that matter. <laughs> for real. <laughs> it's the tech team fault. <laughs> like, Yo, but um, let's, let's, let's take a listen to why. Um, it took so long. Yeah, why the divorce happened. And he, he broke his silence now. So let, let's take a listen. Kaka has finally responded to his ex-wife's bizarre claims that she divorced him for being too perfect. Speaking in a podcast, Kaka said... Time out. So she claimed that she divorced him because he was too perfect. So that was that was yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was her claims. Okay. <laughs> throwing me. <laughs> She's throwing she just, me, bro. She just She's throwing me. She's throwing me. She me. Found the perfect husband. All right, he just Kaka, tell them the perfect. truth. Let me hear it. Shut up. In 2015, I was married, and my wife at the time decided she didn't want to be married anymore. I was living in the United States playing for Orlando City, and she asked to go back to Brazil and said she did not want to be married anymore. I did everything to prevent the divorce from happening because a Christian does not marry to get a divorce. The remarks came at the back of a controversial quote that circulated in media last week in which his ex-wife, Caroline Selico, said that he neither cheated on her nor betrayed her and alleged that she asked for a divorce because the 2007 Ballon d'Or winner was too nice and too perfect for her. Kaka went on in his response to disclose that he stayed single for a year after the divorce and talked to pastors regarding life as a divorcee. It was just unfortunate he could not talk things over with his ex-wife who was not only his childhood sweetheart, but also a former evangelical pastor at the same church where they got married back in December 2005 when she was 18 years old. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Wait. Was she married at All right. 18? Okay. All right. So, wow. so we could get into this, right? 
because That's crazy. I really thought we were dealing with like you know maybe a Christian, uh, you know, one person that had the Christian value and the other, you know. That that was unequally yoked, right? She was in church too. She yeah. was in church too. They got kids. So they both yeah, yes. they had two. So, so they both had Christian values, uh-huh. right? And one thing about it is, like, I think we talk about this a whole lot. Like, <clears throat> we talk about divorce on here a whole lot because nowadays I believe everybody's looking for a way out of marriage. Marriage is hard, y'all. Like, I, I know you guys are not at that stage yet. But it is hard. It's constantly working at something to make it, you know, to make it work, to have Christian values, right? And we have this myth that, you know, there's no divorce in the church. Actually, the divorce rate in churches has been going up yeah. for the past couple of years. That's crazy. Right? And I don't know, like, it's just a question I'm asking. Like, why, why is that? Like, what, what, why is the divorce rate going up so much? I mean, in churches. <laughs> because of what? What did she say? What did she say? I don't know. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't that? Isn't he, that? Cause, okay. She said they were arranged. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I'm not messing with her. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. We're trying to live here. We're trying, we trying to. Wow. Can you ask the question again, please? Let's go back to the question. Yes. <laughs> you even worse for it. <laughs> okay, no, okay. okay. Let's finish the video. I'm trying to understand. Can you ask the question again so we can go back to the question? I don't think. Back? Was their marriage arranged? I don't think so, though. But he was saying, he was saying he was that. Yeah, they were sweethearts. No, they got married, married at 18. 18. What? Yeah, so, well, well, so, they've been well, together since she was 15 years old. So, like, she was bored. Lord, that's a, <laughs> and she was, <laughs> and she was bored. She was bored. She's been with him what? her whole life. She when it was what she was saying, she needs to go out there. There's other things that she wanted to explore. Yeah, she wanted. In a way, he's just too perfect. He just leave. goodbye. You she had she was options. Like, too, yeah, he was yeah. Like, no. there, and my, there, there has to be another reason. It she can't had just had be options. because, she mind you, perfect. That don't make I don't sense. know. I don't know. Like when he became, you know, that soccer that soccer star. Oh, he's been. He's but been, he's been that. And see, like he started though. from a young age. He from age going up. So mind you, like the male. The man played for the Brazilian national team. You know what so, I mean? Like he, he's, I don't know what that means. He, huh? I don't know what that means. You're not a sucker. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't like <laughs> sorry. Don't say that too loud. She probably <laughs> doesn't even know what that means either. That's crazy. No, but. But let, let's finish the video. Let, let me see. Let me see. Fortunately, Kaka managed to move on and started dating another Caro, a 29 year old Brazilian model, Carolina Diaz. That's what you call an upgrade. For real. Wait, wait, yeah. Who made you the first and not the last? Wait. They had it on the chair. That's too quick. Wait, when you divorce, can you remarry? Look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go focus on this. Wait, you better. He got the money for it. You better pay extra pass. Hold up. I don't know why you asked me that question. Because if we be at my house, we shall serve the Lord this way. Amen. Amen. We shall serve the Lord this way. He's trying to find a lady of the Lord. I mean, we we already know that. We we all know that. The only ground for divorce is infidelity, and that's if you cannot forgive one another. So I don't know. Nowadays, it's anything is ground for divorce, and remarriage is 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 a norm in the church now. It is. So I don't know what to tell y'all. Nah, but he leveled up. My dog did. She's, yeah, she looks good, but I can't lie. Good. She looks good. All right, Kaka. In 2017, before getting engaged two years later, they have since been blessed with two daughters. The 2002 World Cup winner's ex-wife, whom they had a son and a daughter, has since taken to social media to dismiss her alleged quote as fake insisting that she respects him and that they are currently co-parenting in a healthy way. She pretty. She's she beautiful. Is. She's she beautiful. Is. I'm well, <laughs> I'm not hating on her. Right. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you folded, boy. <laughs> you folded. You think Kaka is really over his ex-wife? Ain't no way. What? Mm-mm. I don't know. Uh, and honestly, she... To me, that's too quick. First of all, the man said he didn't want to divorce his wife. He tried everything to keep the marriage, you know, alive. And, yeah, he waited a year before he did it somebody else. Yeah, he's over his wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's over his ex-wife. Somebody you was dating at 15. Maybe I'm just delusional. Whether it is, uh, whether he is or not, 
But no, what are we talking about? My dog, oh, no, no, but he is up there now, bro. Yes, but he's what, up. Be with him for that long, like why did she divorce him? Ask him for a divorce in the first place. I don't already know she. She, she, she want to go. So why are you reversing it, making it as if like like no, he's I not over it. her? I feel like. Kaka, go ahead, get your bird, boy. I mean, you first definitely did. It took eight years to speak <laughs> up. So around that whole time, he's already in a relationship. You are getting married. So why speak up now? You married. Well, I mean, should have just left it alone. I mean, I he's, a, a, he's entitled I mean, to. I mean, big have a high people in his business. I'm all for people who do try to brag, you know, when they come up. So thank you guys for watching the video. Both of them are happy. Um the voice is not the the voice should not be an option. Uh work things out, uh whatever you gotta do. Um well I cannot tell you what to do, right? But don't be caca. Well, don't be Kaka's ex-wife. Oh, I'm about to say. Don't be Kaka's ex-wife. She said she's happy. Huh? She's happy. She's happy? Yeah. No, she said happy. All right, let us know what you think about this Kaka situation. Kaka, 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 Kaka